everyone and welcome back to my channel where I share teaching tips and strategies. In today's video, I'm going to share a fun game that teaches your students how to disagree in an evidence-based way. This game is called I Couldn't Disagree More. For this game, you're going to need to place your students in pairs. So you'll have each pair facing each other like this. And you'll also need to prepare a list of fun debate topics ahead of time. Alternatively, you can also ask your students to come up with them. So here I have, should kids wear uniforms to school? Which animal makes the best pet? And can we replace teachers with computers? These debate topics can be as serious or as humorous as you would like them to be. Each pair can either have their own deck of debate topics just like this, or you can place all of these topics in a slideshow at the front of the room and switch each slide as you're playing this game. The students will turn over one of the cards or you will show the debate topic on the board. Give students a moment to think and then they will decide which of them will start the debate with the statement plus reasoning to support this topic. So let's say our debate topic is which animal makes the best pet. And you start the debate by saying a statement with reasoning. You say dogs are the best pets because they're known to be very loyal and loyalty is important in a friend. So next it is my turn. I'm going to use the debate stem and the trick of this game is that I must disagree with what you said. Even if I actually believe what you said and I'm totally on your side about your opinions about dogs, I still have to disagree. And that's the crux of what makes this game so powerful. So I'm gonna say I couldn't disagree more. And then I'm gonna state my own statement plus my own reasoning to back it up. So I might say I couldn't disagree more. And then I'm gonna add my statement. Cats make better pets than dogs. My reasoning is you said that loyalty is important, and it is, but it doesn't outweigh the fatigue of responsibilities of owning a dog, walking it, cleaning it up, um, teaching it how to do things. Cats, on the other hand, are so independent, and that's much easier on your mental health. Then it's your turn again, and you're also going to disagree with what I said, provide a statement and reasoning to support it. So you might say, I couldn't disagree more. The question is what makes the best pet? And pets are companions. And tell me the last time your cat snuggled up to you and loved you as much as a dog. They just don't fit the criteria. And as you may have guessed, it's then my job to disagree with the statement that you made. Students go back and forth for a set amount of time. I usually let my students do this for two to three minutes. And then they move on to the next debate topic and do it again. Once your students are comfortable debating some of these topics, some of the fun ones that are lighthearted, you can create new ones or even create literature-based statements. Like the most important character in the book is, a character in the book would make a good friend, or the most pivotal point in the plot was when, and students can debate about those topics. So you can see how this can quickly become a game where students are expected to use text evidence to support what they're saying. This ends up being a really lively game in which students come up with some really creative ways to poke holes in their friends' arguments. But more importantly, it helps them practice how to disagree with others in a respectful way. After we play, I always ask my students the following questions. What was most difficult about disagreeing with someone? What strategies did you use to defend your position? How did you debate when you actually agreed with the other person, especially if that person was your friend? At what point did the debate fall apart and why did this happen? I hope this strategy inspires you to start the year with some lively and lighthearted debates. I'll see you in my next video. See you next time. Mm -hmm.